What is going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm trying to make a screen shake in Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12 or 13. So before we get into this video, if you'd like to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12 or 13, be sure to leave it in the comments below, ask me on Skype, ask me on Twitter, ask me on Facebook, ask me wherever you'd like, and I'll be sure to make the video for you as soon as I can. Now yes, I have made a video like this before, however in this video I'm going to be showing you a different way of doing it. So some of you may not like the method I'm showing you in this video, however, there'll be a link to the other video I made in the description, so you might go ahead and like that method too. So we've got a clip here of FIFA 15, and what we're going to do is make it shake as soon as the ball hits the net. So you can see the ball is just hitting the net right there. So I'm going to press S on my keyboard to split it. Now we should have two clips like this. So the one on the right is what we are going to shake. So what you do from here is come to the events pattern crop. Now make sure this is checked right here. What this does, if you move this, it's going to move this up here as well. So you'll see this, it's going to move it like so. Now the way I'm going to be showing you this one is a bit different. And what you have to do is make sure these are checked right here, these two and then go ahead and zoom it in a little bit like that. Now the next step from there is making sure this is also checked right here, normal edit tool. You want to come here, you want to go to where the turning point is, go ahead and turn it like that. Now depending how fast you want this shake to happen, you choose the gap between each shake right here. So right now I'm going to use the arrow key right and I'm going to put it 5 keyframes, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and now what I'm going to do is turn it the other way like this and now what you have to do is just repeat that all the way until you've had enough so I'll show you a little trick you can do so come back to the first one right here press ctrl c to copy the first keyframe now with, there's a 5 gap in between all of these so what you'll do is go 1 2 3 4 5 and press ctrl c and you can see it's going to do that now from here go across 10 each time and press ctrl c and what that's going to do is line it all up really well. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, so I've done the shaking part for this. So you can see there are 10 second gaps between each of this. Now we need to put the other turn in, which is this one. So come here, press Control C. And now from this one, go across 5 each time. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then just go ahead and paste it. You can see here... This is where it's going to be, so it's going to be really simple to follow. And yeah, I'm just going to keep going and do all this, and I'll be back to you when it's done. Okay, so once you have actually finally finished it off, what you're going to do is go five more keyframes, so one, two, three, four, five. Press right click here, and click restore. This is going to put the video back to normal. So now if we go ahead and play through this, this should shake as soon as we score. So let's go ahead and watch this. And there we go, there's a little shake right there. Now you can see, it was a bit slow. Now, the way you speed it up, like I said earlier, is the gap in between these, you want to make them shorter, and then that will make it faster. So I'm going to go ahead and shorten these, and then you'll see the difference. So I'm going to make it two keyframes short, and yeah, this will be a pretty fast one. Okay, so what I've done right here is shorten the gap, so now there's only two spaces in between each of them. And yeah, let's go ahead and watch it now, and we'll see how fast this shake is. And you can see that is much faster. A bit like KSI's version, I think that's the way he's done it. And yeah, I think I prefer that. Two keyframes is recommended from me, because as you've just seen, it does look pretty good. So yeah, that is it for this video. It's a really simple tutorial. It can be time consuming depending how long you want the shake to go on for. All you need to do is have a little bit of patience and you're going to have a nice effect. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and like my Facebook page. I'll post gaming news and technology news daily. Also be sure to check out my gaming channel where I'll post daily. Check out my FIFA channel where I'll post daily. And finally be sure to add me on Snapchat where I'll just show you what I do throughout my day. So yes, it's been Casual Soldier. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate and peace.